Tower God, Season 3, Episode 45, Number 462. And the blue petals are swirling around her. Float. Is she awake? She's looking down. Alvin looking up. The Rebel Hero. Float, float, float. Wait. Is that the hero who's sealed in the tower? Dylan? She sure knows how to make a dramatic appearance. That's that's her. Huh. Whoosh. Outside Shinsu. An outside view. Am I really awake? Sorry, Kane. She's lying face down on the floor. I can't believe this moment has finally come. The damn screw float. Blue leaves. Could this be? Has the seal been broken? Float. Float. 52nd floor. To one. Hero one. This is a town in the wall. It's filled with Kane's memories. White's like, Congratulations on waking up, hero. That's in front of her. Hmm? My name is White. I was a slayer for Fug. I'm not anymore, but there's a good chance I'll be one again soon. Anyway, whatever. The guy's like, that's some woman. This has all happened so quickly. I heard you teamed up with Fug and fought Jihad's army before. I'm sorry to bother you so soon after waking you up, but I'm going to need your help in battle. Battle? Yeah, that guy down there was the squad commander in Jihad's army. He came to kill you after he wake you up. You ate Jaha's army, too, right? Reach out his hand. Then how about you help me bring him down? And I'll devour his soul. <laughs> I got a bit of a situation at the moment, so I can't use my full power. That's why I need your help. Consider it an honor. Really? Wow. So the world's still at war. But regardless of who I was in the past, I sighed who to work with. What? God's like, hey, watch out! Ah! Something flying? This is no time to fight each other. Okay, bam. If we don't do something soon, Kalan will kill the hero, and all of you. If the hero disappears, there's no reason for this place to represent peace and coexistence. Help us stop Kalvan. The hero saved your ancestors, remember? Shut up. Even if we get lucky and stop him, he's dropped the needle. There's no place in this world for those who oppose Jaha's army. Oh. He turned someone else. Whoosh. I'd rather catch you guys trying to stop him. Okay. And ask him for forgiveness. Then maybe he might spare us. I doubt that. Step. Uh oh. This needle is made from a gem taken from Cherry River, a place known for gemstones. It's on a completely different level from the needle before. You'll never be able to break it. Is that a challenge? <laughs> okay. I was like, enough of this. Finding each other is pointless. We're running out of time. Guns Lighthouse, bam. You're wasting your breath. He's got his own principle. He's learned from experience. His own principle? Yeah. He said he always goes with whoever's strongest. So using force is the only way to get him to surrender. Sometimes even another person's principles don't make sense to us. You have to respect them. Kun's right. He's acting on his own principle. There's only one way to persuade him. I'll just have to overpower him with force. Leave his fist. Kun, stay out of the lighthouse. Rack, distract him. I'll get a teleport ready for Bam. All right. Okay. Bam, just some the Shinsu. Bam, get near him as quickly as you can. Okay. Shinsu control skill. Water dragon. Surveying the sword. Hmm. I didn't know he's a wave controller. I've never seen this type of skill before. Oh, you're about to see something. Rock's just throwing a spear. Die! Oof. 
Bounce off everything. Swoosh. Oh. Lux spear. It's coming. Cling. Boom. Pow. Pow. Bam. Bam's coming down. Whoosh. Boom. Bam. I'll teleport you over to him. Get ready to attack. Got it. Kishoop. Right in front of Flash. Huh? <laughs> I'll gather as much Shinsu as I can. Swoosh. Ah. Swing on. Locking it. Wait. Broke the sword? <laughs> oh, boom. I can't believe he just broke the Cherry River Needle so easily. Okay, I'm stepping in. Swoosh. Wham. Did you get him? Now, you listen to me. We're strong in you. <laughs> a face. Why aren't you killing me? You're a good man. You could have gone after my friends first, but you didn't. This tower may be covered by the law of the jungle. But you're not the kind of person who would pick on the weak. Alright. Boom. She drops it. I'll help you. You're definitely stronger than me. Thank you. Well, let's. All the pedals can move? Huh? Swoosh. Let's go. Dum -dum. Okay. On after. Swoosh. And the pedals. Darn it. Right back. Why are you attacking me? Huh? Did I do something wrong? I thought you were on our side. I was still in that tower for ages. Cal was like, I didn't see this coming. And yet the world still goes on fighting. I just received all of Kane's memories. I know more or less what's going on and who you people are. I was hoping the world would be a bit more peaceful if I ever woke up again. But that man was right. That man? The man who came to visit me. A few days before I was sealed in the tower. And we're seeing this in the past before Dolan was sealed in power. After accepting the proposal of Jaha's army, I decided to allow myself to be sealed away and return to my homeland. But Kane was the only person there who was happy to see me. I wouldn't avoid making eye contact or talk to me. They wanted me to sacrifice myself for them, but they weren't proud of themselves for it. But either way, I was a warrior who had fought on their behalf. So I decided, since I'm going to sacrifice myself for them anyway, I might as well not resent them for it. I vowed to take away your memories of me, so they wouldn't torment themselves for the rest of their lives, as long as that could bring them true peace. Obviously it didn't. Within a few days of my return, Jod's forces retreated, and townspeople started looking happier, little by little. I've returned to our town. For some reason, I found it hard to bear, so I stayed with Kane and hardly ever left the house. I heard to see Kane worry about me, but maybe her sadness was my own comfort at the time. Then one day, I'd gone into town by myself for a bit. A little kid came up to me and grabbed one of my fingers with her little hand. All? I hadn't felt the warmth of another person in so long. What is it, little one? I asked as I held her hand. Then she said, Mr. One, my mommy and daddy said, If you run away, everyone in town will die. Why did they put this weight on her? So they said, We have to make sure you never leave. Wow. It made me sad. What did that little kid ever do wrong? People have always fought for their survival, so how could I blame them? What do you mean? I'm not going anywhere. I just hope the world, after I was sealed away, would be peaceful again, without any fighting. Well, continued. Then, when I got back home that night, that man came to see me. Jod? 
Who are you? He called himself. Hi there. Can we talk? The boss introduced himself as a nameless adventurer. He started telling me about his travels. It sounds so ridiculous that even I had a hard time believing it. But the stories were so interesting that he seemed more like a gifted storyteller than a liar. He knew I was going to be sealed in the tower. And he told me I would awaken again someday. Out of curiosity, I asked him whether the world would be peaceful when I wake up again. He told me he was certain that the world would still be at war. Maybe because he's causing it? Until then, I wasn't sure whether to believe him. But for some reason, I believed him when he said that, and it really hurt. Then, he started telling me about a boy who would spark a war in the future when I wake up. Oh, Pam, he said I would encounter the boy when I woke. As he told me about the boy, his eyes seemed so full of curiosity. I couldn't tell whether his intentions were good or evil, but I knew. That boy appears in this tower. It would bring about some massive changes to the tower, and a lot of people would die in the process. A boy, huh? So is he. Can you see? Huh? He's on his way here. Oh, shoot. They see Pam coming. <laughs> right now. Calvin's looking at the hop. That man was right. That must be the boy. The throne that will slit the king's throat. A lot of people are going to die because of that boy. Or not? Whoosh. Uh oh. Some petals? Huh? Darn it. White's going. <laughs> She's going after him. Let's get her. Crash. Calvin's also on the move. Uh oh. Huh? You. I'm sorry. I know we just met. But I know a bit about you. Huh? Uh oh. With you gone? She summoned the power. Countless people's lives may be saved. What? <laughs> that tech. I've got to stop her. Bam's reaching out flash. Shinsu black hole sphere. Huh? Huh? He neutralized my flower Shinsu control skill. Float. It must be him. Float. That boy's the one. And <laughs> that's the episode. I mean, anyone can prophesy that if, like, they're the one who's pulling the strings. Although Bam doesn't want to take him with his life. I think she's going to see this uh, with confronting him that maybe, like, with the boss was saying quote unquote um was actually wrong and that maybe she can trust bam but i'm wondering if bam's also gonna like learn her skill because <laughs> man this is pretty cool though he can I don't know, maybe not. Maybe you won't learn it. Yeah. Calvin's running. So he trying to get out of there or is he preparing for something else? The fact that she just like attacked White we got in front of her. Is that Jihad? Or is that like one of his sons? Kind of looks like Jihad. But he's smaller, so. Or I don't know, relatively. 
Because you sitting there cross-legged. So did he go there to like instigate like a, a possible future? And the whole like little girl, her parents filling her head with like these lies. It's like you gotta brainwash the youth to get what you want. Hmm. Your sister was the only one who was happy to see her. I mean, typically if you... If the townspeople were left alone, they'd be happy, but... Child, like, forced the situation to happen. So, he, like, activated his trap card to make them reviver, so... Hmm. She actually decided not to resent them, which is pretty good. Yeah. I mean, there was a no way. Would they have taken it? I don't think they wanted like silver and tower, but I mean that's all it takes like great peace. Like sacrificing one person. I mean I can't blame them. Also like Bam getting delete on his side. <laughs> Man. Like, why do you kill me? Because I see you're a good person. It's just a waste to take you out. Man. In fact, they broke the gem sword. <laughs> it's like, is that a challenge? It's like, this is made from the hardest material ever. And I'm like, oh yeah? I'll show you harder. I like the panel where I couldn't just like stand out of the lighthouse. Man, I know I'd do that if I had that skill. Use like the lighthouse like as a, I don't know. Vehicle, transport myself. Yeah, um, what could happen? Um, I'm speculating that Bam's gonna like show her that she's incorrect about like all her idea about him. I'm pretty sure that's shot, yeah. Or like an avatar of his? I don't know, it could be someone else, but most likely I'm seeing the that shot. And Ban so far has got like so many people on his side, like Doom. Um, like everyone. Like just from his strength. I'm like reading all these names. But yeah, um, what are your thoughts? Uh, if you're new, subscribe, like, comment. Thanks for watching and have a good rest of the day. Bye.